Are you ready to transform your summer into an epic splash-tastic adventure? Say goodbye to wasteful, single-use water balloons and hello to the ultimate in reusable, eco-friendly fun with reusable water balloons. Check out the link in the video description to get yours on Amazon today. Tammy Stronach achieved overnight fame as the childlike empress in 1984 fantasy The NeverEnding Story. Forty years later she is re-emerging from the shadows. I loved performing from the second I could walk, Tammy, now 51, told usnews.co.uk when she returned to the big screen earlier this year with her 1980s-inspired fantasy movie Man and Witch, The Dance of a Thousand Steps. It was an auspicious moment. In the 1980s Tammy immediately captivated the world with her moving and raw performance as the childlike empress in The NeverEnding Story, a family film that quickly gained cult classic status. Directed by Wolfgang Peterson, at the time 10-year-old Tammy, who was by chance plucked from her acting class to audition, was pipped as Hollywood bound. For one brief moment, she became one of the most recognizable child actors in the world. It was my happy place. It was such a spectacle. I don't think at the time as a child I understood how lucky I was, she said about the set of the beloved fantasy. For Tammy, her favorite part of filming was working with acclaimed director Wolfgang, best known for his 2004 movie Troy. He really didn't treat me like a kid, he wasn't like, okay sweetie. I felt like he really spoke to me as an actor, he trusted that I understood the story. He was so professional towards me, oftentimes children really crave being given that gravitas. Despite an idyllic start to her career, it was the aftermath of the film's popularity that Tammy and her family found themselves totally unequipped for. Ultimately, unwanted male attention and inappropriate scripts led to her retreating from the industry as quickly as she had arrived. Navigating fame and curating the right projects was much more challenging and we really weren't a Hollywood family, Tammy explained. At the time, her parents, traveling archaeologists, were managing her career. As a family we talked about it and decided that the pitfalls at the time were just too great. The pitfalls in question? A tale as old as time for countless child stars growing up during an era when safeguarding for children was a low priority. Probably the most challenging thing for me was stalkers, it's a hard thing to navigate when you're little, she admitted. Some of the scripts I got, the content was very adult and not appropriate for a child and I felt very strongly as a kid that I didn't want to do anything that wasn't a good acting role. There are people that navigated it brilliantly, I look at Natalie Portman, it can be done. But those are very smart women and kudos to them. It's definitely a lot to take on. Despite being offered three or four acting roles straight off the bat, Tammy declined them all and instead pursued theater and dance work for the next few decades of her life, culminating in the creation of the Tammy Stronic Dance Company. My feeling was, I would love to come back to the big screen but it had to be on my own terms and it really took me a long time to figure out if that was possible. Although Tammy never graced the silver screen again, over the next 40 years her presence among never-ending story fans endured. I know people are often like, how could you do that, but for me, my goal in life was to be a creative person and I think that's actually very thematic with the never-ending story. It had this huge impact on me to keep this creative imaginative part of me alive and that was the thing I took away from my time in the world. I have fans that have written me for 40 years asking, when will you do another film? These people for whom the never-ending story is so important, it wasn't the industry that made me come back, it was them. They were like, come on just make something, and they convinced me. Now Tammy is a regular face at comic cons, celebrating her character in connection with the longtime fans of the franchise. It really feels like a family and people tell me the most moving stories, like nobody in my family went to college and I really wanted to be a doctor and I saw the never-ending story and decided to go for it. I didn't make any of these things happen, I just happened to be inside this story that made all this happen. I also get a lot of letters from people who say they grew up in really difficult circumstances and say the story was a really beautiful escape for them. I think that is a testament to the power of storytelling.